Welcome to Hollywood. That's not the sign. Not that one, Paul. We're in Northern Ireland. Let's start the show. Ah, the smell of the sea, Paul. What do you think? Oh, it feels like we've never left, but oh, I do certainly love it. Well, would you believe that this is actually the first time that I've ever stepped foot in Hollywood, and it's one of those places where, you know, you've heard a lot about it, um, especially in recent years because of Rory McIlroy, the golfer who, of course, is from oh, here. Oh, yes. Um, and it's so close to Belfast as well. And the reason we've come here is because we've literally just got off the plane, got our car, and I haven't driven for a few months. And I thought, oh well, I think the best thing to do to get into the stride is to take a short drive somewhere just to get used to the car. And I looked at the map and I saw Hollywood. I thought, oh, I've got to go there. And it's a lovely day, blue skies. This is Belfast Loch. Lots of wildlife, lots of, of sea life. And in fact, you can see Belfast in the background here. It's only a few miles down the road. Um, so we'll be heading there, not actually into Belfast today, but we'll be heading in that direction to head up to the north coast. Hollywood is also on the main train line into Belfast as well and in the other direction heading off to Bangor which is one of the bigger resorts in Northern Ireland. If you're flying into Northern Ireland there's three main airports. There's the city of Derry there's Belfast International, which isn't actually in Belfast, and Belfast City Airport, which is in Belfast, and that's the one that we flew into. Um, now, let me tell you a little bit about Belfast International Airport. Uh, it's known as Aldergrove locally, and it's actually uh, closer to Antrim, uh, Antrim Town, that is, than it is to Belfast itself. So that's just a little top tip. If you are planning to come over here, um, Belfast International is good if you're heading to the north coast, uh, but Belfast City is better if you're heading into the city centre. There is nothing like a clear blue sky and a nice walk on the promenade to get you started in your day. What a lovely view, don't you think? For the start of one of our trips, this is a rather unusual situation, isn't it, Paul? What am I talking about? What are you talking about? Well, the sun's shining. The sun normally just comes out when we're about to leave somewhere. But we've been very fortunate that it has come out just as we have arrived. Are you glad to be back in Northern Ireland. Oh, I'm looking forward to my breakfast. I haven't had an Ulster fry for years. So what exactly is an Ulster fry? Well, it's just like a regular fry up breakfast, but it's got soda bread, wheat and bread sometimes as well. Very interesting. I think I need to give that a try as well. Definitely. I mean, I've even got the old accent.
in grateful memory of the men of Hollywood and District who gave their lives in the Great War, 1914 to 1918. Morellis, wow, I didn't know they had one of them here. Now Morellis is very famous in Northern Ireland, especially along the North Coast for its ice cream. Um, the one in Port Stewart we'll be visiting later in our series. But having one here in Hollywood, that's great, it's expanding. Wow, wow, I really do need this. We are coming to Homebird in Hollywood and I'm having what they call the baby breakfast. Not for babies, no, it's a small breakfast version. So we've got a sausage, a bacon, a poached egg, tomato, beans, mushroom, and look, you know what that is? That's potato bread. Mmm, delicious. Oh, it's got one too. Thanks for watching the show. Please continue to comment, like, and especially subscribe. Thanks. Well, we've put off our journey north just a little bit longer because we took a look at the map and realized that we were near a very famous spot. Where are we, Paul? Donna Gadi. 
Well, indeed we are, but you might know it better as Port Divine because it has been the location used for Hope Street, the BBC police drama based in Port Divine. And so here we are in Donnacadee, and it's the first time I've ever been here, and it's, it's lovely, isn't it? Look at the lighthouse, the sea um, surrounding us, and the beautiful coloured houses and shops along the front as well. It's just absolutely lovely, I have to say. Do you know what I like the most about this? What is that? The sea breeze and all mm. that um, seaweed smell. Oh yes, breathe it all in. It's good it for the lungs. And it certainly is very divine. Ah, <laughs> you're so funny. <laughs> There's the Donica D lifeboat. Behind me is the Copeland Distillery. They do rum and also, I think, vodka, I think. <laughs> Jen, sure. So let's go in and take a look. So what did you get? I got some whiskey glasses. Because the ones that I had at home... I broke, didn't I? Not only you, but I think I broke one of them. So I got a pack of two for 10 pounds. So tell us about the distillery itself. They're gonna to start tours pretty soon. In fact, at the time this episode goes out, the tour should be on, right? Yeah, I think that that would be good to attend. Um, I think I would like to come back for a, for a possible tour. And they weren't able to sell us any alcohol today because at the current time they hadn't got a license. But by the, again, by the time this episode goes out, they expect to have the the license in place so something to look forward to and to come back to port divine in that sea air. Isn't it wonderful, Paul? And look at these absolutely beautiful houses as well. Yeah, very I colorful. think that they are very, very unique and I do like the pastel colors. Yes, it really does um, add to the, the atmosphere of the place. And you can smell the sea so much. And also, I can actually smell the distillery as well now that we've been in. The war memorial here in Donica D is right in the centre of the town's promenade. Well, fans of Hope Street will know that the focal point is the police station and um, it's right behind us there. I think it's actually somebody's house. I think so. Wow, I loved discovering Hollywood and Donica D. Port Divine, you mean, Paul, I think? Yes, that one too. Well, it's interesting because it's two towns that I've never been to, and I lived in Northern Ireland for 24 years, so. I think that there's so much more to discover. There is a lot more to see, you are quite right about that. And we have three more episodes in which to do it. So make sure you join us next time. Bye for now. Bye bye.